What's up guys, Old Kid back again with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to 3D print a mini nuke from the design is from Imagine and the model is from Fallout 4. So to print this you're going to obtain the file from Umagine.com and from there you're just going to type in mini nuke. And it is Valcro's model and it's the only one on there. It has almost 1500 downloads and you can see um, all the information, descriptions and it says that you're not allowed to commercialize it or change the work or mix it and you have to, act, you have to attribute to the creator. So um, you can see all the pictures and this is what we're going to be making right here except it would be in one solid color. Alright, so you're just going to want to download it. Wait, thanks for downloading. And then, once it loads, you're just going, I'm just going to save it right to my desktop. This is what the name is. And minimize that. Alright, so it's still downloading. It's going to take a second. I have a nice great picture of a roof right here. I took that from my drone, which, you know, all these are my drone pictures, my background, I have it to change every minute. Alright, so you can just double click on that, and there will be all of these files, which you don't really need, most of them. So, I'm going to select all the ones that I need all the STL files and this file is pretty big because it has all these pictures and uh, instructions and stuff you might want to keep that and look through it all but I've already gone through it and looked at it so you're going to want to uncompress those couple files close this and recycle that alright so it's going to print that over and I'm just going to open all of the files and they're kind of big so it's going to take a second to load and I made a previous model before just on my own and it was it was pretty small it was about a third or a fourth of the size but I liked it so much that I wanted to make one actual size at um, the regular dimensions so it comes with these couple parts one two three four five six parts that you're going to print and they are all easily snapping together parts so of course I'm not going to want to print all of these parts at the same time because that would take forever and there is a large chance that it would mess up somewhere in there so I'm just going to want to um, I'm just going to print this main body right here first so I can delete everything else on the build plate. I'm using Cura version 15.04.2 and that for me is the latest model so far and um, Cura is a great slicer for Ultimaker 2. Um, disabled though. So, I could print this whole thing at once and so for my settings I'm going to be using a point or actually I'm going to be using a one nozzle and This is going to be a travel speed of 150 millimeters per second, a bottom layer speed of 40 millimeters per second, an outer shell of 40, and an inner shell of 45. And then onto the basic, um, the layer height is going to be a 0.15. The shell thickness, since my nozzle is a 1, I'm going to put this at a 2. 
and so it does two passes around and that'll just give it a little more strength so it doesn't break the bottom top thickness I'll make that a one Fill density it doesn't have to be very thick because it is a very substantial and big part so I'll just put that at 10 and then a travel speed of 70 millimeters per second so just readjust this and then this is what our model will look like and these are will be all of the settings to print it so we'll just see how long that takes once it loads all right so it looks like it's going to take about seven hours and 15 or so minutes uh 16.72 meters and 132 grams so this is going to be a very large piece so you want to make sure that you have at least a half spool of filament so that you can do your whole model in the same color so without ordering more filament so you're just going to want to make sure and go over your settings one very last time and it looks like they are all good i'll have a time lapse and show you what it looks like when it's done Alright guys, now that the body is done printing, we will start printing the fins and the nose cone. So we're going to want to keep the layer head at a 0.15, the shell thickness at a 2, the top thickness at a 1, and then the fill density will be a 20, because these parts, or this part mainly, sometimes gets kind of um, thin. So we we'll want to keep the print speed at 70, and then over in the advanced settings, we're going to keep the nozzle size at one, just for just to keep it all the same. Um, and then all of this will be the same. So then you're just going to make sure all your settings are good, and see how long it'll take. Right, so this is going to take about two hours and forty-five minutes to print. We'll go time lapse it now. Alright, so now that that's done, we're going to be printing the next part, which are the outer fins. For this one, we're going to be changing the nozzle to a 0.6 nozzle. I did this because some of the um some of the other parts that printed had a little bit, had a little bit of defects, and I wanted this one to be a little bit finer with the screws and bolts um, that you can see right here. And I want those to look pretty good. So we're going to keep that at a 0.15, the shell thickness is going to be at a 1.2, the bottom top thickness is also going to be at a 1.2, and the fill density is going to be at 50, a little bit thicker. The print speed we're going to make that a little bit faster at 80 millimeters per second, and then in the advance we are going to, let's see, change this to a 110, and everything else looks good. We'll wait till this is done loading, see how much time's left. Right, it looks like this is going to take about two hour, almost 2 hours, an hour and 51 minutes. It's going to take 2.65 meters of filament and 21 grams of filament. So we'll look for time lapse. So finally, our very last print of these two items. 
this is the very nose cone that goes on the very top of the nuke. And this is a circle holder that holds the fins and stuff in place. So we're going to keep the we're going to keep the 0.6 nozzle on it. Change the change the layer height to 0.1. Shell thickness at a 1.2. Bottom top at a 1.2. Or actually the bottom top we can put that at a 1.8. Just to give that a little bit um, finer detail. Fill density at 50 and print speed at 70. On the advanced settings, we can keep that at 6. This can be at a 110 millimeters per or 110 line width, um, 150 travel speed, and all this will be the same. Alright, so make sure the settings are right, and then wait till this is done so we can tell how much time. The print will take. All right, so it looks like the print will take about 31 minutes, 0.59 meters, and five grams of filling. So I'll send that over to the printer, and I'll show you this time lapse. Hey guys, what's up? Hmm. Hmm. Dead? Hmm. Is this some amazing homemade carrot cake I just made? It's pretty good. Wait. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be showing you the mini nuke I just printed. Oh yeah. Alright, here I'll show it to you. Here it is. This is the mini nuke I just 3D printed. It is all assembled together. It just snaps on. And everything just snaps right together. So, um, here it is. Everything just comes right off. Here's the main body. Here's the top. And, um, everything printed quite nicely. But there is, um, I don't know if you could really see it, but there are a couple places that it did mess up from probably either overheating or under extrusion and stuff like that. But um, the I did print this with the one millimeter, so um, there was a larger chance of messing up here. But then I printed this one with the 0.6 millimeter, so it is much nicer and more detailed you can see the screw detail right there and yeah I just came out really nicely and um, the time lapse just came out really nicely and at the beginning of one of the videos I was talking about the smaller mini nuke I printed this is that mini nuke so here we have baby and here we have papa big difference right please like comment subscribe i don't care who you are i need your support please help me in making my journey a little bit easier i'll see you in the next video